Hi, this is Michael Orle, and we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Curve 9370 for Verizon Wireless. First, let's open up the box, see what we've got inside. So here we have the phone. Pull that out. Pretty small device. Powered up with the amp button here. Let's see what else we have in the box. We've got a looks like a start guide, some consumer information, warranty information, and uh, this is a global roaming device. So this is a uh, Verizon's information packet on uh, getting service when you're abroad. Otherwise, we just have the micro USB cable right here, and of course, the charger. This is a nice little compact BlackBerry charger. Okay, so here's the phone. Let's take a look at the hardware. First up, we've got a four-row QWERTY keyboard. Keys are nicely spaced. Good tactile feedback. We've got call send menu, an optical trackpad, back button, and call end as well. Up on the top hand edge, we've got the lock button, so you can lock the device and unlock it by pressing on that edge. Left hand edge of the phone, micro USB connector. Up top next to that lock button is of course the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. On the right hand edge, a little bit hard to see, volume control right here, little pieces that jut out there, and a camera shutter button. And on the back we've got a five megapixel camera and an LED flash. And there's actually a fair bit of separation between the flash and the uh, lens which helps reduce red eye a little bit. Rear cover has a uh, kind of rubberized and a uh, nicely textured feel to it. I'm going to pry it, pry it off here so you can see where the battery is. And while I have the back off, I want to point out this little section here of the rear cover. That's actually an NFC antenna. The two contacts there match up with the uh, contacts here on the body. And this allows the device to work with uh, NFC tags. SIM card slot because, as I mentioned before, this is a global roaming device. So you can use it in Europe and Asia, other parts of the world. Micro SD memory card slot comes with a 2 gig card pre installed. Let's pop out the battery, Let's see if it has a uh, rating on it. You can see it's a 1000 milliamp hour battery. So, not particularly huge, but these older style Blackberries like the Curve are pretty efficient when it comes to battery use. So, it should last a decent time. Let's close it back up and start it up again. While well, the phone's restarting again, it's probably a good time to point out that it's very, very light. It only weighs 97.9 grams according to my scale, and uh, it's quite thin as well, 10.5 millimeters in thickness, which is pretty good for a BlackBerry device. This 9370 is running BlackBerry OS 7, but we've been promised an update to 7.1. You can see it has the new look that we first saw on the torch in terms of the way the menu works. A little more difficult to navigate though with just the optical touchpad versus a uh, touchscreen. There's no touchscreen on this device. <clears throat> Let's jump down to options and uh, can take a look at information on the device itself. And you can see right there it says uh, BlackBerry OS 7. And you can see it also supports Edge, CDMA, and naturally there's Wi-Fi support as well. Also GPS support built into the device. Let's drop back out and uh, just pull up maybe the messaging app. or you can, We'll go into the notification area up top. You can see we've got one new message. And it's just a quick message saying that the device has been registered on BlackBerry's network. I'm going to show you some of the applications, like we've got the browser here. Um, it's a WebKit based browser. It works pretty decently. Let's see, I can zoom in smoothly. And the text looks pretty good on the uh, display. The display is small, it's 2.44 inches across the diagonal, 480 by 360 pixels, but it's uh, pretty sharp for this relatively small size. Browser works decent. Um, this is a 3G connection, so of course it would perform a little bit better over Wi Fi. If I uh, long press the menu button here, you can see I can switch to some other applications like uh, the new maps application or quickly switch uh, over to Bing. Bing's pretty cool for getting uh, local recommendations. You can see I searched on pizza and it 
shows me all the pizza places in the area with ratings right up there, which is pretty convenient. Going to activate the camera by long pressing on the shutter button here, and uh, snap a photo with the optical D-pad. Also use the shutter button. Not too bad. We'll go into the gallery there. You can quickly see it, the two photos I just shot. So that's my quick look at the BlackBerry Curve 9370 for Verizon Wireless. It's a nice little handset, um, traditional BlackBerry form factor. Lacks a touch screen, which is uh, pretty much standard on almost every other platform right now. But uh, still a pretty cool little device, um, nice and compact, and the price isn't too bad either. It's $99 after a $50 mail-in rebate. It's available now. So again, BlackBerry Curve 9370 for Verizon Wireless. For MobileBurn.com, I'm Michael Oral. Thanks for watching.